Welcome to Tang Contemporary Art Hong Kong. My name is Charlene. I'm Zidane Lin. So together we'll be walking you through our gallery virtual tour of our current exhibition, Rackets of Cobwebs, which is curated by Amy Lee and will feature 16 artworks by 14 artists, all Chinese contemporary artists. So today we are going to highlight five different artworks that Cindy and I will walk you through and we're very excited to have you with us and I hope you enjoy this exhibition. This is a sculpture by artist Zhou Sun Ya. So this sculpture basically is an ode to his best friend. In 1994, the artist adopted a German shepherd and named him Hei Gang. And since then, they've been inseparable. They spent every waking moment together. So this whole series is basically dedicated to his best friend. And it basically highlights the positive attributes of the dog, which is the loyalty, the protectiveness, and the enthusiasm the dog would have. And what I really like about this is that he's also created a female companion for his best friend. So the artist once said that the color green reminds him of quietness and romance, and also the calm before the storm. So with this, the artist has used this iconic green color in most of his paintings, as well as these sculptures, which are incredibly iconic and recognizable, especially with the red top. Right next to me is one of our highlights, Liu Wei's waves. As you can see this monochromatic painting, Liu Wei tries to depict the contemporary landscape by featuring a computer-processed imagery. The figurative forms of this painting has been diminished into monochromatic black and white simplification of abstract. There are often strange geometric shapes forming a complex composition in the works by Liu Wei. As the artist once said, I am a visual artist. My expression is visual. Color represents one of the ways how we perceive the world. It covers on my concept and materials, forming our categorization on attitudes, hierarchy, love and hate, and all things in the world. And for example, this painting, he has processed the imagery with computer coding, therefore forming a boundary between the visual experience and reality. Water are dancing as in a water fountain. There are heaps and lows, just like our life. And that reminds me of another painting of our exhibitions, which is one of the very expressive and also classic version of Ouyang Chun's paint series. A lot of expressive brushstrokes, heavy in pastel, and a lot of contrastive brushstrokes. The reason why Ouyang Chun was trying to paint King series with this surrealistic creature is that he thinks um, everyone is a king and nowadays people seem to forget they were once a king. A king is absolutely beautiful, powerful, cruel, lonely and glorious. To paint the King series is to remind them the power and radiance in everyone's ego. At first glance, Ouyang Chun's work has a childlike innocence, with very strong colors. In fact, he is trying to convey his thought about humanity through the contrastive colors and figures. Works by Ouyang Chun have been collected by Benvede Vienna, Me Collector's Room in Berlin, White Rabbit Galleries in Sydney, Long Museum and Power Station of Art in Shanghai. This painting is considered the top quality of King series. It is also shown in Me Collector's Room in Berlin in 2010 and 2011. This is a milestone show for Chinese contemporary artists who were born in the 70s in Europe, marking the sophistication of Chinese contemporary artists and that they have received international recognition. This is a painting by artist Zhang Xiaodang. So Zhang Xiaodang is most known, known for his uh, series, the Bloodline series, which are black and white portraits of very stoic, like family style portraits, which typically represent the hierarchy within a family clan. But right here, we have the In and Out series, uh, which is also inspired by his memory. 
we present a landscape that embodies the intersection of history and fiction. So unlike his previous series, which has a lot of figures, this painting right here has no figures, and instead we are made to focus more on the swaying flags, the mountains, as well as the background. So this is um, one of the artworks that we wanted to show, the artist's progression from his figurative paintings. And this painting is also hugely based on his um, very famous theme nostalgia, which again focuses on China's progression, industrialization, and globalization during the 80s. This is a painting by artist Liu Wei. My father and mother the name of the painting is a rare, playful example of his revolutionary family series, in which Liu Wei depicts a contrasting visual image of his own parents in their, at their own wedding ceremony. While his mother wears a white western wedding gown, his father wears a very traditional Zhongshan Chinese jacket, which is commonly worn in the 80s. So this particular series brought the artist to an international stage of the Venice Biennale, Sao Paulo Biennale, and a series of subsequent Chinese contemporary art exhibitions throughout Europe in the early 90s, establishing him as a representative cynical realist in the Chinese contemporary art scene. Thank you all so much for joining Cindy and I on the tour. We hope you enjoyed it. The exhibition will run at our Hong Kong gallery space from the 8th of July to the 13th of August and I hope you'll be able to come and see the exhibition in person. If you have any questions, please follow us on our social media handles and don't forget that you can email us, send us a DM or leave a comment below. Thank you so much and we really hope you enjoy the tour. Thank you.